the one I call love. You are the one who saves. You took my pain and my shame. Welcome back to my channel what's popping guys so earlier this year i attended a mali magic master class you guys insert picture she's like my all-time fave i literally look at her art she had art has influenced my art so i went for a master class so this is this this was the first makeup i did after i attended the master class i literally wanted to practice everything she said in the master class starting with moisture 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 oily skin dry skin normal skin combination skin moisturize like she moisturize she does not joke with the moisturizing so oh this is moisturization <laughs> so next foundation i'm applying the foundation with a brush because i wanted it to be light and dewy and then i went in with a beauty blender to press it in to the skin even better and take off the excess oil so for concealing i went in with this zikel foundation um zikel concealer if you guys notice the skin is looking amazing like i didn't even put any glow or anything just moisturizing and then the one thing i learned from her is never use your brush clean no not no let me rephrase that never use your brush empty or never use a clean brush alone always like rub it in some in some products before you use it that way it doesn't lift off from the face do you guys understand what i'm saying it's like when you just wash your brush and then you're using it for the first time it just doesn't blend as much as if the brush was dirty or stained so she used to say even if it's a beauty blender rub it in foundation or rub it a brush rub it in concealer and then use it that way it doesn't lift your product it just stays guys i use a fluffy brush to blend the highlights and see how flawless it looks the brush is from morphe brushes i saw it on benicia boateng i don't know if that's the pronunciation of her name but yeah i saw it, the, the scope from her so i, I stole it <laughs> and then i'm contouring her face with a darker foundation guys i love this foundation it's like my holy grail for my clients that are really dark skinned or my top models that are like chocolate chocolates i use this foundation from them for them so i'm contouring her face very meticulously let me put it there <laughs> let me just use that word i'm trying to make sure that i don't do, you know you guys now we'll root the answer but now right now i'm like products placement is very very key mali magic does not just add things on the face for adding sake she adds it with sense so yeah So guys after contouring and highlighting i'm using the beauty blender to press in everything into the skin before i went in with my danessa marix powder setting powder actually so guys if you do not know anything about mali magic you should know the press and roll technique she's like the she's like the goddess of press and roll technique so the well, let me explain you take the powder yeah you see roll powder roll powder roll basically it helps push in the products well into the skin without leaving those horrible cakey lines and everything so press and roll learn that i use the powder to blot out oil from our brows and everything i went in with this fenty beauty um bronzer i love this bronzer like i'm obsessed with it so i went and warmed up the perimeters of her face basically trying to contour but i didn't really contour i was just warming up round her face like i did it several times i didn't want to stop because i love the effect can you see the snatch yes yeah there's so much dimension so nice so many times i thought you leave me broken inside i feel i've lost my sanity 
So this Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette is one of the things she gave us for the class and I love it. Like I'm obsessed with it now. I got two from that class. I love it, love it. So I'm just trying to create like a nude look, just a matte nude look, nothing extra. I used the transition color towards the end and then I blended a nude matte on the lid and that was it. So after dusting off the powder, now I'm just trying to push in the um, a face powder into our skin. You see how I'm just pushing it in first before I went over to dust everything. So now I'm just trying to warm up our face again. Now it's more like a contour than bronzing that I did earlier. I'm trying to contour our face. So I'm using the MAC powder NW58 and then I went back in with my um, Hydro Mist. So now I'm highlighting. This highlighter is bomb, but I noticed that after using it here first, I noticed that it's good as a second layer highlighter, like to make it pop even more. Using it first on its own is not really great because it's a bit grainy. So after you put a, a smoother highlighter, then you can use this to make it pop even more. So now I had to use a smoother highlighter to blend it out so that I won't have that grainy effect. You get what I'm saying? At the hair transformation Olu David killed it I'm going to leave his Instagram everything in the description box you guys check him out all the vendors they are bomb so yeah check them out um for the lips you guys know the duo I'm using this eye magic palette this palette is like every makeup artist in Nigeria has it <laughs> so yeah then glossy lips and then we're moving to the final look you guys I went back in with this bronzer just to add more redness I don't know if you guys understand like warmth to the perimeters of our face so guys if you guys love this look let me know what you guys think I just said guys four times okay yeah but then don't forget to like share subscribe leave a comment in the comment section I love you guys bye kisses and of course yeah watch my model give you guys several hot faces <laughs> see ya later peace out you.